Hi, I'm Steve. We're going to take a look at the compressor that comes with Logic Express and Logic Pro. Let's go ahead and bring in a compressor on our drums track. Let's start with View. We can look at it with just a bunch of sliders or this more intuitive uh, graphic here. We can show the channel strip that the compressor appears in. In this case, we're looking at this drums track. On this track, we've got an EQ and we've got a compressor. Sidechain we'll talk about in a minute. Bypass just lets us listen to the track with and without the effect. We can use these arrows to step through some presets and you can see that all of the controls change. And then the compare function just allows us to compare this one with the previous one that we looked at. This is a bunch of presets. So we can come down here to drums and we can just select one and see how it sounds. If we don't like that one, we can select another one. If we've adjusted some of the parameters here and we've found something that we like, we can copy these settings. And then if we go to another channel, we could paste the settings into the compressor in that channel. We can control the attack and the release. We've got our transfer function here. We can adjust our threshold and we can adjust our gain. And then this is if we're going to use it as a limiter, which we will not at this point. Now circuit type, this is just emulating different types of physical electronic circuits. And uh, let's look at this one here. We can see that we've got a peak or an RMS. So our threshold will be triggered either by the RMS of the signal or the peak. Our gain here, we have an auto gain, which Normally, I think I would just leave turned off, and then we can adjust the gain as we would like. But we can set an auto gain, and the plugin makes an educated guess as to how to adjust the gain for how we've adjusted our parameters. Down here, we've got a ratio, and we have a knee adjustment. If we select the auto button, the release time is set automatically by the plugin. Some of the advanced features of this compressor are hidden in another menu down here. Let's look at this output distortion and we'll drive this off of the bass channel. Okay, it's pretty heavily compressed. But now we can bring in distortion as well as compression. Really not a very useful feature, I think, for most tracks. With sidechain, we're using a different signal to control our compressor. So let's come down here to the filter and we'll listen. So this is our sidechain signal. Now we can create a filter in here, whatever we like. Let's do a um, bandpass filter. You can see there's very little high frequency activity here. As we sweep this down, we hear more and more. Now if I don't like this particular tom drum, I can identify it. This is a more narrow filter and a broader filter. So now this will be my trigger, my threshold trigger for the compressor. And I can just boost that signal if I need to. All right, let's apply that. And this is my drum track using the side chain for the compressor. Here's another way to use the side chain. We have a song with vocals and instruments. We'll use the vocals as our side chain and we'll use that channel to trigger the compressor on our instruments. And here's the song. And this is our side chain. It's just the vocals. So now we're using this to run our compressor. Whenever the vocals are on it will be reducing our instruments. And just to exaggerate this a little bit. So you can hear that every time the vocals come up, the instruments are dropped down quite a bit. The last item on our menu down here is the output mix. This is just a wet dry. So this is 100% wet, and that would be 100% dry. 